All right, so this video we're going to run through how to do an image restore. So say something did not work uh, if you're transferring, say, from RoboGuide to your robot and for some reason uh, you're getting errors or it's just not working out the way you thought or you're just doing an image backup from the original because maybe a program crashed or something along those lines. So let's run through how to do a full image restore. First thing again you need to do is to make sure you have the USB uh, with the image in either your teach pendant or in the front of the panel. So what we're going to do is first we're going to turn off the robot. So we have the robot off and now what we're going to do is we're going to hold down F1 and F5 at the same time. So F1 and F5 pressing and then I'm going to turn the robot on and I'm going to keep holding this until we get the image restore screen. There we go. So I'm going to release. And now we have our boot menu. So what we're going to do is we're going to go to our controller backup and restore, which is number four. So I'm going to press four on the keypad and then we'll hit enter. And then we're going to get this. So what we want to do is restore controller images. So number three, so restore controller images. Now here's a note, unless specified by your FANUC provider, Never do number one and four, emergency backup and bootstrap CFG menu. These are meant for worst case scenarios. And again, the FANUC provider will tell you to do these or walk you through those. So generally you're going to do just a restore controller images, which is number three. So I'm going to hit enter and then it's going to ask from what device. So I have my USB in my teach pendant. So I'm going to go number four, here we go. And then here's another note. You want to make sure that this image is from this robot. If you do not do that, bad things can really, really, really happen. So make sure and double check, triple check, quadruple check that this image is meant for this robot. Everything has to match exactly okay, from the, the, the ROM and as well as the RAM. So if you know that this is good, everything is good, we're going to go OK on the current directory because I have my image right on the, the main uh, platform from my USB. I don't have it in a folder. That's why you see virtual to actual here as a folder. It's not in that folder. So I'm going to just go current directory, which is the teach pendant. So I'm going to go number one. And then it's going to say again, are you sure that this is the actual image for this actual robot? Again, bad things can happen if it is not. So are you ready? One for yes. And then we're going to run through and it's going to start pulling from our USB disk and start running those images that are on top of that. There we go, we have our restore complete. So we're gonna hit enter now. It's gonna bring us back to the original screen. And now what we're going to do is we're going to restart everything. So we're gonna go back to the configuration menu. So we're gonna go back to the configuration. So number one, enter. And there we go, it will bring us through. And then we're going to go to cold start. So we're going to go two for cold start and hit enter. Again, while this is restarting, a uh, couple of big notes is to make sure that your robot is in the exact same position as when you did the actual file backup. So I always put my robot in the home position, uh, which is the 000. zero, 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 ninety, zero. So I only have my actual tool facing straight down that's why I consider home but you can put it at zero so zero 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 all the way across the board exactly in the same place just in case again something goes wrong so you can see now we have our cold start 
let's go to menu, see if there's any alarms. So I go to alarm, alarm log, and right now it's just the dead man switch release. So if I shift and reset on this, there is no other active and when I release, that will pop back up. So there's no other errors that popped up for our system. So everything was good. So if I go back to my select here, you can see all my different programs. And if I run any of these programs, they should run uh, flawlessly. So that's setting up a system through the image restore, which is from an image backup.